Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to put an 8 inch speaker in your NB Miata. Alright, so what we're going to be doing, replacing the stock Miata speaker with the upgraded speaker. That's hopefully going to give us some better sound, maybe some lower bass notes, but we'll see. It is only a 7 inch driver. Let's get to it. Alright, so here speakers that I've got are Lanzar uh, three-way coax triaxial speaker systems so these have uh, three different speakers kind of built into one here you can see it stands off a little bit from the front uh, I just got these on Amazon pretty cheap I think it was like $40 for the pair uh, these are 8 inch so these are gonna fit right inside that hole in the door um, pretty much you can ignore these specs because I highly doubt this thing will handle 400 watts all right, so the first thing we gotta do is take out this clip. There's uh, actually three of these clips. There's two here and there's two on the sides of the door. So what we need to do to take these clips out and use my, my small screwdriver. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to kind of gently go in around the side of this and I'm gonna gently pry up the center tab. So once the center tab pops out, then you can pull it out a little bit either by the tab or just putting the screwdriver behind and gently prying the, the clip out. One thing we definitely wanna be sure of just to make sure you've got a parts tray because all these little clips, you're going to have about eight screws, three clips, and possibly some other stuff too. So make sure you get a parts tray to keep all this stuff in. We've just got two more clips on the back side here. Let's gently take these out, just like I did the last one. Now something to keep in mind, there's two different sizes. This size right here and this size. The, the larger, longer ones go into the side of the door, whereas the smaller one goes in the inside of the door and in the interior. All right, now it's time to do the, uh, the three screws we gotta take out. Uh, we got one of them right here in this panel. We've got one right up under here. We've also got one right up here. So these are both door handles. These are both gonna be large screws and this one's gonna be a small screw. So I'll start with the door handle. Just a small machine screw. Make sure you're using a number two screwdriver or even a larger one for these guys so you don't accidentally strip it out. Now these might not come out. This one's being a little stubborn. Sometimes you can jiggle them around and get them to come out, but it's like he wants to stay, so I'm just gonna let him grab the other one. These operate at kind of an odd angle, so you might have to kind of feel around to actually locate the screw. There we go. This one might come out a little easier. But I've been proven wrong before. All right, we'll leave it in. Uh, next, we're gonna take the clips off. There's a set of clips around the door, around the front of the door, the bottom of the door, all the way up to the side. So what we want to do is just go around here, gently, gently pull away on the bottom. Don't try to pull it from the top. There's actually a lip up here that holds it in. Uh, one thing you might want to do beforehand is to take this out. Um, kind of you have to pull the door handle open and just, just work this off and it should just slide right out. Just forgot about that. Once the door is freed, which you can tell because it's just kind of flopping here now, you can just lift straight upward a little bit. There's one of our screws that fell out. Put that in the tin here. All right. Now we do have, uh, on the 2002s and up, we do have a uh, tweeter wire. So this tweeter wire is gonna have to get disconnected. Luckily there's a little, there's a little uh, push kind of feature up here that it, you can push down from the top right on this this little piece here and pull outwards and it just disconnects. On the driver's side you also have a power lock switch that you'll need to remove. So 
so I'll go ahead and set this aside. All right, we got the door panel off. So now it's time to work on the speaker. The speaker itself is held on with four screws. So you just need to take these four screws, unbolt them, and it should pop right off. Now it's important to take out the four, top, bottom, left, and right. Don't take out the ones holding the speaker themselves in because we need to take this whole panel out. Make sure you save these screws too because we're gonna use them when we reinstall the new speaker. All right, now the clips that are behind here are kind of tough. So it's gonna take a little work. Okay, that one just came out easy. You can see the clips. There's a clip here and a clip here. And um, I can put that in the in frame here. Clip here, clip here. And these are, these are what's actually holding the speaker on. Um, so same thing here. Um, looks like we got some tape on there. Pull that off. Um, all we need to do with this is just unclip. So I'm just gonna push down on this and see if I can get it to come out. Does not look like it wants to pop out. Let me grab my screwdriver, trusty screwdriver. This is my small screwdriver. I'm just gonna kind of pry outward. Push down on this little piece here and twist a little bit and try to pry it away. There we go, perfect. All right, now this is gonna be difficult for me to show as it is for me to do because it's doing it from behind the camera. But if you can see, there's a there's a little clip hanging down from the top in there. And I've got my, my very small straight blade here, uh, very, very thin. Uh, pick will also work. And so that's basically holding this wire inside of the terminal so you can't it can't be pulled out because that is preventing it. But you can see inside it's just a, a plain spade. So what we need to do is depin this. So um, we need to go into here very carefully, because uh, mainly because I don't want to break this. And let me see if I can do it in a fashion that won't interfere with my light. Go inside of here and push up very gently on the piece that's holding it. So kind of once you get into there, you can, you can kind of rock it upwards and you'll feel it kind of rock upwards. Once that happens, you can, if I can get this to focus, um, pull out on here. And you may need a few tries at it. I mean, it's not, it's not easy for a reason. They don't want it coming out. So I'll wiggle around with this a little bit, struggle. And uh, you're gonna have to push this back in to relieve that clip. Uh, of course not. Let's see if I can get there. There we go. I've rotated a little bit. Oh, there we are. All right. So now, by not damaging it, I've pulled that. I've pulled that uh, that pin out, and now I can use that on the speaker directly since it's the correct size. So I just need to repeat for the bottom piece, which is the same way. You can't really see behind the wire there, but it's got that same little little uh, clip hanging down. So let me go ahead and I'll, I'll try to do this really quick just to see if I can make it a second time. Um, I just have to get deep enough to, to push it up. I'll slide in backwards and there we go. So then it's free. So now we have this connector, which I'll set aside and we've got the two spade pins. Now, if you look at this, these are actually going to be, they're not very crimped very far. Now, most spade pins will have, uh, they'll be crimped pretty tightly, so when you slide them on, they'll have a really tight connection. The difference is that these guys uh, sit inside this this pin housing, and they're held together uh, by the lock and the mechanism within that, that housing. So the clip here is what actually does the holding. The spade doesn't do it, but when you're using only a spade terminal, the spade itself just via tension has to hold itself onto the um, terminal. 
So uh, we'll need to crimp these down a little bit so that they will properly grab onto our new speaker and won't fall off on the door. All right, so I've got my large unit on those pliers here. And all I'm going to do is take each side of this and just give it a little squeeze. Just a little squeeze. And I'm trying to, to make those inside fingers just touch the bottom. So this, this finger here should be touching this bottom piece right here. I don't know how close my camera will focus, probably not very close, but uh, that is what you want to crimp down enough where it touches it. So now, like see my screwdriver won't, won't slide into there, whereas on this one I can, I can fit it easily in between these two. So I'll just go ahead and repeat. And I'm not, I'm not trying to crush, I'm not using a whole lot of pressure, just a little bit, because I don't you can always add more. It's once you crush it, though. I mean, that's the that's it. So, just want to be very careful and just do a little at a time. So, those both look good to me. They're both crimped down just a little bit. So we'll go about installing the new speaker. All right. So, uh, we're gonna install the new speaker. So we need to verify first that the polarity is correct. So if you remember on this one, the old connector here, uh, this yellow went into here, and the green was on this side. So looking at the original speaker, um, we can see at the bottom here, it might be hard to tell, but there is a small plus and a minus. So looking at how this fits, if I can hold on to it, fits just like that. So that would mean that this side is positive, this side is negative. So yellow was in this side, so that means yellow is going to be positive and blue, uh, green is going to be negative. And I believe that's what I said earlier. <laughs> We've got the new speaker here. So the back of here, uh, we've got something similar, but on this one, the, the terminal here is just denoted with a red dot. So that dot is what we're looking for. So we're going to need to attach the positive, which was yellow onto there. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this around, hopefully in a way you can see. Let's see if I can like zoom in just a little bit onto that. Get you guys a better angle. All right, so positive goes right onto here. And I wanna make sure it's a good firm connection, which it is, I gotta push it on. Same thing with the negative. And you notice I just kind of crossed over so there's a little extra twist in the wire. So this whole thing will then slide up and into the door. Now I can kind of sit there on that, on, that, on that motor on the basket until I get these screws back in. And I'm just using the same screws as I did before from the from the, the mounting bracket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of position this in here. Get this guy started. All right, should hold the speaker up. And I will get the next one in the bottom. Now before I crank all this down, I'm gonna obviously kind of position it in the door. I apologize about the view if you can't see too much, but it's a little difficult to work around the camera here in this tight space. So that's snugged up and everything lines up. You notice the holes on the side line up here and the top and bottom, so perfect. Two more screws. This is a good time if, you're, if you've got the door open like this to look around inside for anything. If you're having issues with your window regulators or you're having problems with a door lock, it's a good time to take a peek inside since there's this clear plastic. Word of warning though, the, the, the black gooey stuff that's inside of here is like tar. So you really don't want to get any of that on anything. And that's including yourself and also the, the car. If you 
bump the door panel the wrong way, you can smear tar onto it and then it's getting everywhere. It tends to drip out of the bottom a lot. All right, so the speaker's in and we're, we're pretty much ready to test it. So uh, I'm gonna, before I, I go any further, I'm just gonna go ahead and test and make sure I've got it hooked up correctly and make sure that uh, it's in phase just by listening to it. And uh, we'll see if we did a, did a good job. guys that's gonna be it for the Miata got the both speakers are replaced we've got the new ones in they sound great so now let's take it for a test drive and uh, enjoy the tunes thanks for watching